I was the friend of the caller who Bobby Eaton showed the drawings to. And my friend that called in did a great job describing everything. And it was a great night. And Bobby was a complete gentleman. But he did leave out a few details, and one of which I didn't really remember that much about the drawings. And it dawned on me why I didn't. I didn't see them because I was outside with Robert Gibson during all this. And Robert Gibson was a complete partier who was acting really strange to me, and his eyes were bloodshot. Me being a Mr., you know, a naive 18 or 19-year-old, I didn't realize that he had been, um, you know, getting high that evening at the Motel 8 where we were. And he taught me how to lock up and also told me that before the show, a fan that he had never met um, partook in a sexual act in his car before the match. It was it was unlike anything I'd ever, like, I, I, I just was, like, speechless as an 18-year-old kid or 19 from the suburbs. It was quite an experience. But Bob Eaton was a heck of a guy. Robert Gibson was a wild man and acted like it was still 1985. Hell yeah, he did. Look at this. We got the other point of view from the main call from, I think it was two episodes ago. That call, him and his friend went, that caller sat down with Bobby Eaton and looked at drawings. And he did say in that call that his other friend was doing other stuff. Well, his other friend was with Robert Gibson. Now, I did contemplate also putting this stuff in the podcast too, but marijuana is legal. This is all alleged, and I'm not going to, shame anybody for any kind of sexual acts actually i'm all for it so we're putting this story forward the first time i ever met robert gibson was training with him at ovw he also wanted to teach me how to lock up that's his thing he's been teaching people how to lock up for 45 years and i also believe he's been doing the other things for 45 years straight living the life and why wouldn't you you were one of the rock and roll express the greatest tag teams of all time you got to live the lifestyle. Rock and roll is in your team name. It's in your team name. Don't draw or collect drawings. You get wild. You, you're you a wild man. The other guys are drawers. Enjoy your life. Obviously, why am I telling you? You should be telling me. You did. You were my teacher for a year, and you were great, and you're still great. Hence this phone call. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.